Jill, and today I'm going to use this fork to help you understand English. What's that? This is a fork. And how do you use your fork? This fork has many different uses. I can use it to crack open an egg. I can use this fork to eat something. I can use this fork to mix something. I can even use this fork to make a pom-pom. Wow! That fork is really useful! Yes, it's amazing that just one thing can be used in so many different ways just like a lot of English words. Really? Yes, let me show you. I feel warm. Mmm, curry. But I don't like cold curry. I think I'll warm it up in the microwave. I'm drinking water. I water my tomato plants every day. Yes, even when it rains on my video day. Sometimes, when we change how we use a word in English, we add some letters at the end of the word. This is called a suffix. And how do you use your fork? This fork has many different uses. Wow! That fork is really useful! Okay, now it's your turn. Let's start with some easy ones. Can you change these verbs into nouns by adding the suffix er or or? Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Teach, teacher, write, writer. Actor. Excellent. All right. Now, next one. Can you change these verbs into nouns by adding the suffix meant? Improve. Improvement. Advance. Advancement. Achieve. Achievement. Excellent. Okay, last one. Can you change these adjectives into nouns by adding the suffix ness? Ready? Happy. Happiness. Sad. Sadness. Weak. Weakness. Excellent! So why do we want to change a word from an adjective to a noun? Or from a verb to a noun? 
It's so we don't have to repeat ourselves so much. Help us say something in a different way. Let me ask you three questions. What's that? It's a fork. It's very useful. And what's that? It's a knife. It's very useful. And what's that? It's a spoon. It's very useful. Okay, you see how she used the same word three times? Useful? 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 Let's try one more time. Let me ask you three questions. What's that? It's a fork. It's very useful. And what's that? It's a knife. I can use it in many ways too. And what's that? It's a spoon. It has many uses as well. Much better. I hope this book did its job and you understand a little more about suffixes in English now. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram for lots of motivation and inspiration.